What's going on everybody? Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video. This time showing you my favorite way on how to improve in the game, and that is by watching your replays. If you don't know how to do that, you just go into the lobby mode, you select replay channel, and then you scroll over to my replays. After that, you can just select whatever match you want to view. The replay mode is by far my favorite way to improve in Dragon Ball Fighters because it takes away the stress of actually having to learn while playing against a real opponent. You get to see what you do well and what you do poorly, and everything in between. I figure the best way to show you the effectiveness of watching replays would be to go through some replays of my own and see what I did right and what I did wrong, and just things I could improve on in general. So as you can see, my opponent for this game is Remy, who I've played a couple of games with at this point, and he's around 600,000 BP, meaning he's right about to become a Super Saiyan 3. You can see at the start of our match, I do a great job of getting hit and putting myself right in the corner, which is just where you want to be. Joking, of course, that's an awful start for me. Luckily though, when he vanishes, I hit buttons even though it's unsafe, and he tries to do something unsafe and gets punished for it, and I get to put him right in the corner. Now here's where I make my first mistake. I land a hit on him, but don't do the optimal combo, which leaves me out of some potential meter gain and also some potential damage. And then of course after that I miss my meaty timing and I'm back in the corner. And here's where you can see another one of my many faults as defense against Cell. Now I, I started figuring out his Cell a little later on in our sets, which I'll show you, but as you can see here I get hit with an overhead move and vanish too high. And now vanish is usually safe on block, but when you hit it at that angle, it's not, which is something I really struggle <laughs> performing in a match. As when I vanish, I usually think, hey, I'm safe, I'll click a few buttons, and I get punished for it. My next major flaw was just pretty poor neutral in general against Cell and Black. As you see, I try to backdash there and get hit by a full screen beam from Goku Black, which results in Krillin taking a lot of damage, being put in the corner, and then I just did a, I just did a super to get out of there, because I really wanted Krillin to stay alive. Now for a bit of something both, as you can see in this next clip, after I land a nice combo on Goku Black and get him back down to the ground, I make a good read that he's going to jump backwards. I hit him with a jumping Dragon Rush. But something I didn't want to do here was I tag him out for Cell, because I didn't want him to have a second assist. But of course, after I get crossed up by my own tag in, or snapback I should say, I get put right into the corner and lose Yamcha. Which is pretty much the end of the game for me. And just for good measure, you can see here that I didn't know Goku's Black's block string very well, and got hit with a beam which ended the match for me. And now in the next match, I won. So let's see what I did a little differently here that improved my chances of winning. As you can see here, I performed a high vanish against Cell and didn't click any buttons afterwards and just guarded, which saved me from probably losing Krillin here. Right after that, I staggered my buttons to open up his Cell a little bit, which resulted in me getting him into the corner, landing a super off with him, and then being able to DHC into Yamcha, getting Krillin back into the team so he can heal up. And then another good read with a jumping grab, meaning that Cell is gonna, going to be very low here. Get him back down, go in for an aerial attack, and I did let him escape though, which is something I really should not have done. Another thing I did well was take advantage of Yamcha's left and right mix-up game. So while you know Yamcha's mix-up game is pretty easy to jab out of, but this person really struggled against the Wolf Fang Fist that attacks you from behind. Knowing that, I staggered my buttons, making him try to guess when I would go behind him. By staggering those buttons, I'm able to get a hit, which just converts into a normal combo. Back to the list of things I did wrong was not getting as many Super Saiyan Goku combos off as I would have. You see I dropped the very standard bread and butter combo here because I forgot to fire a Ki Blast. That cost me a knockdown in the corner and some potential damage. But as you can see he stayed in the corner so it wasn't really that big of a deal, but he definitely could have escaped if he wanted to. The last good thing I did was stay calm in the clutch as you can see we were keeping our space here and I was waiting for him to make a mistake so I could super dash in and then the mistake happened, I didn't hesitate, I clicked Super Dash and ended the game with a win in my favor. I could probably go on for hours just watching some of my old replays looking for things I can improve on, but that would be a very long video and probably not very entertaining. So hopefully you got something out of this and now want to go check out your own replay mode and see what you can improve on. For those of you that already have, I want to know what you were able to improve the most on by watching your replays. Let me know down in the comments below, as I'll be down there as always. And while you're down there, if you like this video and channel, make sure you click the like button and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next one.